we continue Unit 5, Absolute Values, with writing an absolute value equation given an application or a word problem. Let's look at an example. A publisher packs an average of 250 books in each box. The number of books in a box can vary at most by five. If the cost of each book is five dollars, what is the range of possible costs of five such boxes? When we see the word range, we know that we are looking at the highest value and lowest value. And we're wanting the range of possible cost between the highest and lowest. So that means I am looking for lowest cost possible and my highest cost possible. Now let's figure out what those costs are. In the boxes, there are two possible scenarios. The box can vary by five, so that means that in one box there might be five less than 250, which would be 245 books. In the second box, there might be five extra books which would be 255 books. So my range of books can be anywhere in a box from 245 to 255. But I want to know the cost of those range of books. Well, if each book costs $5, then all we need to do is multiply the number of books by 5. So the lowest possible value that, that the box would cost would be twelve hundred and twenty five dollars. The highest value for the box of books that it would be worth would be twelve hundred and seventy five dollars. So those go in my blank. Steel rods produced at a factory must be ten inches in length with a tolerance of zero point two inches. Steel rods that are not within the tolerated lengths must be thrown away. Which of the following inequalities can be used to assess which steel rods are tolerable? L is the length of the rod. So to get this, we take the difference between the norm and the actual. And basically what that is, is the difference between what it is and what it should be. So let's look up in the problem and find some numbers we see that steel rods produced at a factory must be 10 inches in length. So that means that's got to be the actual with a tolerance of 0 0.2 inches. That means that it must be less than or equal to 0 0.2. So looking at my answer choices here, I can go ahead and eliminate the first two. We take the absolute value of the difference between the norm and the actual, and it's got to be less than or equal to 0 0.02. A type of mobile phone produced by Nokia must be less than 8 ounces in weight with a tolerance of 0 0.3 ounces. The mobiles that are not within the tolerated weight must be recycled. Which of the following inequalities can be used to assess which mobiles are tolerable? and W is the weight of the mobiles. Again, what we're looking for is the difference between what it is and what it should be. So let's look up in our problem and get the information that we need. In this problem, we have a tolerance of 0 0.3 ounces. That means that it must be less than or equal to 0 0.3 ounces. The actual weight of the phone must be less than 8 ounces. The absolute value is the difference between what it weighs and the actual weight it's supposed to be, or what it should be. And that has to be less than or equal to 0 0.3. And this concludes Unit 5 Foldable.